Scientists, researchers and online sleuths have all tried to explain the mysterious case of Gunther Stoll. Sadly, every year countless people vanish into thin air, never to be seen again by friends and family. And sadly, in many of these cases, there's limited clues that have been left behind, meaning that it makes it extremely hard to track down where their last movements were. Over 170,000 people go missing every year in the UK alone, with the worldwide number being in the millions. People who work countless hours to find missing individuals have said that people go missing for a wide range of reasons, and there is often more than one cause that has made them leave. Missing people usually have things that are going on in their lives that are pushing them to leave. As of right now though, even with CCTV cameras, more officers and an increase in volunteers, this number hasn't dramatically decreased. Some of the most mysterious cases are those that involve people who have communicated with those around them, having theories for what's going on, and even making chilling predictions about what will happen to them in the near future. This is what happened with Gunther Stoll. The story of Gunther Stoll still remains a mystery to this day. During 1984, Gunther was having a paranoid episode that was affecting his life, and those around him. He would say things to his wife such as, I think they're after me. Gunther's wife reported that this wasn't uncommon, and that it seemed like something had recently happened in his life that started to cause these episodes saying that whatever it was really started to worry him. The mystery would be named Yoxi. Although various details have been released about what happened, people have been left wondering whether Gunther's paranoia was based on something or someone real, or whether it was all in his head. The strange event started on the night of the 25th of October. It's reported that Gunther Stoll was sitting down when he suddenly said the following. I get it, I understand. He quickly grabbed a blank piece of paper and scribbled down Yoxi, or Y06TZE. Shortly after writing this down, Gunther quickly left his house and got in his Volkswagen Golf. He was then seen by locals at his favourite pub. After arriving, he ordered a beer. However, before the drink could reach his lips, he fell down to the floor. People that were around him said he wasn't drunk, but did say he seemed stressed and nervous about something. Gunther was able to get to his feet, and quickly left the pub without giving away much information. After leaving, Gunther had been missing for around two hours, but he then made a quick visit to an old friend. The woman said that she wasn't going to open the door and told him to go home. Eerily, before leaving, he said that horrible incidents would take place tonight, and that he needed help. Unfortunately, no one listened to his pleas, and something did happen to poor Gunther. A few hours later, at 3am, a pair of truck drivers discovered a wrecked Volkswagen car in a ditch. The driver ran to the emergency telephone and called for help. It was discovered that Gunther was inside, and he was holding on to his last breath. He was able to reveal that it wasn't just him in the car, but there was also four others. He said that these four people were not friends, and that they all fled the scene. Unfortunately, Gunther did not survive, and he passed away while emergency services tried to get him to the hospital. The only bit of clue to this mystery is the note he wrote before leaving his home. However, nobody has been able to figure out what it means. Some have speculated that Gunther was not well, and this is why the events played out. Others think there is a more sinister explanation, and that Yogsi was actually a license plate number, linked to those people who were in the car with him. So, what happened to Gunther Stoll? After the police arrived, they reported that Stoll had no clothes on, and that they could see no reason as to why he was in the conditions he was in. Even more questions were raised when investigators received his autopsy results, saying that he had been injured before the car accident. One theory police came up with was that he was hit on purpose by a group of people. 
They then placed him in his car, possibly had a chat with him, and then left him there to pass away. Locals and people who knew him said they were confused when they were told that he said the people were going to get him, and reported that no one ever had anything against him. The only evidence we have is what he said to his wife. This has caused some to theorise that perhaps he led a double life, and that life eventually caught up with him, so he felt his only chances of surviving was to tell the truth to his wife. Police did check out this theory though, but reported that they couldn't find anything in his records that would suggest he got involved with the wrong people, reporting that there was no criminal record, and no one ever came forward to back up these theories. None of the men that Gunther said were in the car have ever come forward. Something happened that night that led to Gunther falling and hitting his head. It's thought he may have seen someone that was after him, and this caused him to go into shock. Others have suggested that he may have been a whistleblower, and that he was trying to uncover an operation that he'd been involved in. It's thought he left the house because he was trying to protect his wife, and that he didn't want any harm to come to her. As of right now, this mystery is not close to being solved, and every year people suggest theories that could help investigators solve what happened to Gunther. None of them, however, have helped in solving the mystery of Gunther's doll. So what do you guys make of this mystery? What do you think happened to Gunther's doll? And do you think those men he encountered had something to do with his passing? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.